to. How would you describe the Michael Dunn that you know? All I can say is uh, what you see in public is not necessarily what you get behind closed doors. And behind closed doors, what do you get? Well, from my perspective, uh, egotistical and arrogant individual who's always right and smarter than everybody else. So when you learned that Michael Dunn had been arrested for shooting and killing Jordan Davis, were you surprised? No, sir, I was not. Because? His superior than now attitude and my personal experience with him uh, <clears throat> trying to convince me I was wrong when I knew I was right and how infuriated he gets if, if you didn't agree with him, not, not, uh, he, would, he, he, he could be pretty intense. Pretty intense. So, John, do you think it might have made a difference if the jury was able to hear from Chuck, from neighbors like this, who offer a different account of Michael Dunn? We believe so. And I addressed this in the defamation lawsuit and, and in some documentary filmmaking that's being done on Jordan Davis's life and, and got to see more of the Michael Dunn and that, that missing period. You know, the witnesses that testified were his father's friends or a son that he had only seen three times in 15 years. And we all have to ask ourselves, if we were on trial for murder, it wouldn't happen to average people, but if we were on trial for murder, wouldn't we have better friends than that? And there's that gap missing with Michael Dunn and, and witnesses like Mr. Hendricks help fill that gap. And, and we need them to come forward and tell their sides of the story so that this family can get justice, that you can't victimize the victim by calling him a thug. And Michael Dunn is this, you know, Caucasian businessman and that, that give him the benefit of the doubt. And Chuck, again, you say the Michael Dunn you know is different than the one the jury saw. You say there were times where Dunn's ex-wives came over to your house and they talked to you about violent incidents inside their house. What did they tell you? That he was beating on them. Mm -hmm. uh, both of them at one time or another had come to my house and said that he had put his gun to their head and threatened to blow their brains out. Uh, now, like I said, in both the interview with the uh, Jacksonville Sheriff's Department and uh, for the documentary, <clears throat> I stated quite emphatically, I never witnessed it, but uh, they came to me complaining about it. All right, John Phillips, Chuck Hendricks, thank you so much for talking to us. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.